You're not good. If you fight them, you'll lose. Uh, by the way, you suck. I know Kung Fu. Show me. I'm the martial arts film freak, and I watched Five Deadly Venoms. Five Deadly Venoms, or just The Five Venoms as it's originally known in the East, uh, was directed by Chang Che and stars uh, plenty of people. Let me name a couple. I'm just going to name The Venoms and then the main character. The Venoms are played by uh, Shang Chang, Chen Sun, Meng Lo, uh, Pai Wei, and Fang Lu. And then, of course, the uh, main protagonist that the story follows with, follows alongside, is uh, Philip Kwok. So the story focuses on Philip Kwok's character, who is the final student at this school that is the House of the Five Venoms. For some reason, this school only pumped out about six students. But in the past, this school has garnered a bit of a uh, infamous reputation. People hate it, people despise it. And uh, so the master, in his dying days, tells his final student, Philip Kwok, uh, to, to bolster up the reputation of the school before he closes it. And in doing so, he, he, he says, find the Venoms, find the other five students, and uh, if they're evil, kill them. If they're good, befriend them, maybe even ask for their help. The five Venoms each have different martial arts abilities. Uh, there is the Scorpion, there is the Centipede, Snake, uh, what was it, the Gecko, and then, uh, God, what was the last one? Centipede, Snake, Gecko, Scorpion, Toad. It was the Toad. You know, I think I could see some inspiration here for, like, Power Rangers. I'm a frog. While uh, Philip Quack is searching for the Venoms, uh, they are he knows that they're narrowed down into this one town. He just doesn't know who they are. Uh, but we meet two of the Venoms right off the bat, and um, they murder a bunch of people. And then the whole movie is police trying to find whoever murdered these people, and the two Venoms who did it trying to frame other people. It's like a police procedural kind of thing. The opening of this movie is awesome. It is uh, the teacher telling Philip Kwok about the different students, about the five Venoms and their pa and their abilities. And uh, you get to see like this odd montage sort of as he uh, expositions out these characters and you see their their the abilities. It's just, it's a fun little montage. Uh, it's also kind of funny because the master is rude. He just tells Philip Kwok like four times, you're bad, you're awful, you're not good. If you fight them, you'll lose. Uh, by the way, you suck. He just can't help but bring it up. He's like five times, he just tells them, if you fight them alone, you're gonna die. And he says it like four more times. And each time he says it, it gets even more rude. Philip Quark's character supposedly knows a little bit of each of the five styles. However, throughout the movie, I think we really only see one. I really enjoyed this movie. I did, and not even entirely for the action, because there is not a lot of action. There's about four fight scenes, and in my opinion, only two of them are really anything special. I really got caught up in the story. I It does a good job. Characters play their roles really well, and the story is structured well enough that you do care for anyone that is a good person. And it's probably just because anybody who is shit in this movie is really that awful, really bad of a person. The two evil Venoms are really evil. The movie really makes you want to see these awful people, you know, punished for their crimes. Um, and I mean, you know who they are, you see them do the murder and it's, I guess, a sort of this sense of dramatic irony of, you know, you have to watch, not you know who did it, but you have to watch as everybody else has to figure it out and the wrong people are getting blamed and the wrong people who are getting blamed are really genuinely fine people they're nice people and it is that sense of drama that actually makes the fight scenes that much better one of my favorite fight scenes in the movie is this uh court fight scene between uh toad and snake and you know one of them is framing the other and he's pretty damn close to doing it and you you want to see the good one pull it out you want to see the good one win because he's done nothing wrong this entire movie and he's kind of done everything for good and he's trying to help catch the bad guys and it's just the bad guys have to have, of course, have the police and and the courts on their side because, I don't know, money. 
They do try to put a bit of mystery in there. As I said, you do know who did the murder. The only mystery is who is the final Venom. Uh, and I'd say maybe some people who are trying harder would, underst would, would figure it out before I did. But I think I probably figured out, I don't know, maybe about 30 minutes left in the movie, I kind of looked at all the characters and was like, okay, gotcha, this guy is definitely the last Venom. And then whenever he does, like, reveal himself, I'm like, yeah, I figured. Moving on to the fight scenes, and like I said, there really aren't that many. There's only about four, and as I said, two are only anything special. The two that are the good ones, in my opinion, are uh, the court scene, as I told you about, um, Toad versus Snake. I don't know if I said that part, but I just did. Uh, who cares if I spoil this movie really that much? It was released in 1978. But they have a very heated battle, and it's super fast, really well choreographed. Of course it's well choreographed, because it's, you know, it's the Venoms. And then the final fight scene is just like seven to nine minutes of just acrobatics and kung fu awesomeness and characters going at it. And, you know, it, 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 it's, as I said, the drama, the structure of, of the suspense is what makes the action so much better and maybe without maybe if i just had watched the final fight scene i wouldn't really think it's anything that great but added with the suspense and i want to see like you know these characters are so well done that i want to see the good ones win and that makes it so much better it's a good combination of the story just just launching up the action they do a really good job of utilizing everyone's abilities like there's there's not really too many moments other than the first couple fight scenes where it's just kind of plain. You know, sure, they're kind of using their abilities, but it doesn't really matter that much. And then just in the final bit of everybody is using what they got to take out the other. Everyone's using counters. Everyone's doing everything they got to do to win. It's awesome. Awesome to see. Super fast pace. Awesome choreography. Just flipping off tables. That was all fun, acrobatic stuff. There's just a few frustrating characters, and like I said, the first two fight scenes are really nothing uh, amazing, nothing worth really talking about. In the end, to wrap it up, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this movie about four Venoms out of five. I don't think it's worth the five. It's not the most amazing kung fu movie I've ever seen. It's not my favorite Shaw Brothers movie. As someone who actually does not have the best uh, background with Shaw Brothers, it's, it's kind of one of my gaps I'm trying to fill. Four out of five Venoms. But... That's pretty dang good. I enjoyed myself with this movie. The fight scenes, at least the last two, are awesome. The story is really well done. There's just a couple annoying characters and a couple, I guess, maybe plot holes. Uh, not even plot holes, just annoying things. Like, the judge constantly asking questions. And I'm like, you're the judge. You figure it out. You're the top guy here. Quit asking people. It's annoying. That guy's annoying. But what do you think of the five deadly Venoms? What is your favorite five Venoms movie? Comment your thoughts down below, like, share, subscribe. Head over to marshalljourner.com for movie reviews, book reviews, TV reviews, just articles on all things martial arts. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.